All right, so the question I get asked a lot is how I style my hair. And right now, there's no product in it. I just got out of the shower and blow dried it a little bit. But today, I'm gonna get a haircut. It's getting a little long. So I thought I'd take you guys with me, show you what I like to get and how I style it. So let's get going. All right, so I'm headed to Nassau Barbers, which is where I usually go. I have a guy named Tommy. He's pretty popular, so hopefully there's not too long of a wait, but he always does a good job, so. All right, I just got out of the barbers. Tommy hooked it up with a nice skin fade. I usually I get a skin fade on the sides and then I asked him to texturize the top, take a little bit off so it's not as long. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's styled at the barber shop, but, oh, but I'm gonna head back to my room and then maybe tomorrow after I shower, I'll show you how I actually style it because um, it's a little different. And then I like to grow it out for like two or three days before it looks the way I really want it to look. One week later. All right guys, so I just got out of the shower. It's been about a week since I got this haircut. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through how I um, style my hair, what kind of products I use, and yeah, so let's get started. All right, so first off, I always like to blow dry my hair. I think that's the most important thing. You never wanna style anything with wet or damp hair. So I like to get it pretty dry before I like to do any product. And then I also use this Floyd leave-in conditioner for hair. It kind of leaves your hair a little bit softer. Um, so you just kind of run it through your hair. Um, this is before I style anything, so the hair is still a little bit wet. I also have this heat protector, which I use before I blow dry for a long time because you don't want to damage your hair. You don't want to get split ends or anything like that. So you just put a little bit in, rub it around. Another thing about blow drying is you want to blow dry both ways, meaning that even though my hair normally parts this way, you also need to blow dry it this way so that you get the most volume and it, um, it sticks up. So right now it kind of looks like a mohawk, but now I just have to go through and um, comb it to make it look a little bit better. Alright, so the last and most important step is using this comb. I think this is super important because what you do is you kind of twist it and curl it, and then you use the blow dryer and use a little bit of heat so it stays, and then that's how you get this voluminous, kind of curly, um, pomade sort of look. So even without any product right now, you can see it's getting to the shape I normally want. So on the sides, I usually like to get a one or a skin fade, but it's kind of growing back already. But on the top, I like to have it kind of flow backwards. So yeah, this is getting closer to the shape I want it. As far as the equipment that I'm using, I recommend a comb or a brush. These are both made out of um, bamboo or like wood or something. I bought them on Amazon. They're super great quality because you don't want like cheap Walgreens combs that's gonna like pull out your hair. You want something that's um, very natural and is healthy for your hair. All right, so moving on to products. Products are a new story entirely. I have three different ones that I use. The two that I use most often are the Mitch Clean Cut, the yellow one, or Floyd Styling Cream. They both have separate uses, which is kind of dumb. All right, so the Mitch is a little bit more of a stronger hold. It's very sticky. I don't like using that one as much as the Floyd. So this is a local barber shop. It's around in a few cities. So if you have one, I would definitely recommend picking it up. I love the smell of it. It smells amazing. And then this is more of a molding paste. So it doesn't feel as sticky. Um, and you can do a lot more with it. It leaves your hair with a nice matte finish. So I only use about this much. I know when people are into like styling hair, they use like a shit ton of gel or wax or whatever, and it just makes your hair look greasy and gross. You don't want that. You want a nice matte finish. So you spread it out, and then it's really important to get it all throughout your hair um, and get it really even. You don't want like certain parts to look shinier or than others. So, so I just kind of comb it back through the hair. So yeah, you can definitely see that this is what I usually do, just kind of like this natural um, flowing back look. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but... I never like to go too straight up, because um, that kind of just looks like a dumb mohawk. I'm more of like a side to the part kind of guy. And then on right here on my line, I like to get a hard cut, which is basically just a line that separates the fade and then the upper 
part. And so yeah, that's basically it. It doesn't take too long. Probably about like three to five minutes per day. Just because of blow drying, you want to make sure everything's really um, nice and dry. So yeah, if you're interested in the products that I use, I personally recommend the Floyd's one. You can probably find it online or something. Um, it smells amazing. It works great. It lasts throughout the day too. And then it doesn't look very um, greasy or oily or anything. It looks like a nice matte finish. I hope you guys like this video. If you want any more fashion tips videos, leave it down below. I'll see y'all next time.